Hello everyone, I am Muhammad Afifuddin. In this video, we will see the design of short circular column. Okay, so here is the problem statement. Design a short RCC circular column to carry an axial load of 1200 kN. The column is 3 meter long and the diameter is 400 mm. Column is effectively held in position but not restrained against rotation at both sides. Use M20 5 concrete and Fe415 grade of steel. So here is the given data. Axially loaded column is given. Okay. So axial load is given as 1200 kN. Therefore, factor load is equal to 1.5 into 1200, which is equal to 1800 kN. FCK is given as 25 Newton per mm square, and FY is given as 415 Newton per mm square. Diameter of column is given as 400 mm. Okay, and the length is given as 3 meter. And here the condition is given as the effectively held in position and not restrained against rotation at both ends. So we will refer table number 28 of IS456 and we will find for the condition that is effectively held in position at both ends but not restrained against rotation. And it is the case number 3. Okay, here you can see that and the recommended value of effective length by IS456 is 1 into L. Therefore, effective length that is L effective we will take 1 into L which is equal to 3 meter. Then our first step is to find out the slenderness ratio. So the slenderness ratio is equal to L effective by least lateral dimension and here least lateral dimension is a diameter of column. Therefore, we will take diameter of column and L effective is 3000 diameter of column is given as 400 mm. Therefore, the slenderness ratio is equal to 7.5 and which is less than 12 that means our column is short column and now we will check for minimum eccentricity which is equal to L by 500 plus D by 30 which is equal to 19.33 mm and here it is less than 20 mm that is the minimum eccentricity recommends by IS456 so that we have to provide the minimum eccentricity here okay so we will provide the minimum eccentricity as 20 mm. Now we will check E minimum by D ratio which is equal to 20 upon 400 which is equal to 0 0.05 and it is equal to the permissible that is 0 0.05 therefore we can design the column as axially loaded column and then we will find out the gross area here therefore gross area is equal to pi by 4 into diameter square so pi by 4 into 400 square which is equal to 1 to 5663.7 mm square. Then from that we will find out the area of concrete and we know that area of concrete is equal to area of gross sectional area and minus area of steel reinforcement. Okay, but we don't know the value of area of reinforcement. So firstly we will calculate the area of steel reinforcement from the formula of Pu. And here as the helical reinforcement is given and circular column is given, therefore we have to multiply the formula of Pu by 1.05. That means the load carrying capacity is increased by 1.05 in case of columns with helical ties. Okay, so Pu is equal to 1.05 times 0.4 FCK into AC plus 0.67 FY into ASC. So after putting all the values here and putting ASC that is area of reinforcement unknown we can find out the area of reinforcement is equal to 1793 mm square. Okay now we will find out the percentage of steel. Why? Because we have to calculate the our percentage of steel should not be less than the minimum percentage of steel and it should not be more than the maximum percentage of steel. Therefore the percentage of steel is equal to 1793 into 100 upon gross area which is equal to 1.43 percent and our limit is between 0.8 percent to 4 percent and it lies between this recommended limit therefore okay.
Now we will assume 20 mm diameter bar, therefore number of bar required is equal to area of steel reinforcement upon area of one bar which is equal to 4.7. Now we will round it up by providing 6 number of bars. Okay. Therefore we will provide 6 bars of 20 mm diameter. Therefore area of steel reinforcement provided is equal to 6 bar of 20 mm diameter. Therefore, 6 into pi by 4 into 20 square, which is equal to 1884 mm square. Now, we will design helical reinforcement. And for that, we have to calculate the core diameter. Okay. And for calculating the core diameter, we have to assume clear cover. Okay. Now, we, here we will assume the clear cover at 50 mm. And the diameter is given as 400 mm. So 400 minus clear cover minus clear cover. That means 2 times of clear cover. So 400 minus 2 into 50, which is equal to 300 mm. Area of core is equal to now we will take the core diameter. Therefore, pi by 4 into 300 mm square minus we have to minus the area of steel reinforcement provided, which is equal to 6880.8 mm square. Now we will find out the volume of core per piece and volume can be find out by multiplying the area with pitch. Okay, here we will consider P as pitch. So 6880.8 multiplied by P is equal to volume of core per piece. Then we will find out volume of one spiral per piece. For that, here is the formula pi by 4 into 8 square into pi into 300 minus 8. 300 is core diameter minus 8 which is the diameter of bar which is equal to 46110.8 mm cube. Now we will check the ratio for IS code. Okay, as there is a limitation given in the IS code, so we will check for that. So volume of, of helical reinforcement upon volume of core it should be less than or equal to 0 0.36 of ag upon ak minus 1 into fck upon fy and from that we can calculate the pitch value and here the pitch is equal to 37 mm okay and the maximum pitch it should not be more than 75 mm or the core diameter upon 6 Core diameter is 300 mm upon 6 is equal to 50 mm and the minimum pitch is 25 mm or 3 into diameter of helical reinforcement which is equal to 24 mm. Therefore, we will provide 8 mm diameter spiral at 40 mm center to center and here is the cross section of our circular column. You can see here the diameter is 400 mm. Here the cover we have assumed as 50 mm. And we are going to provide 8 mm diameter spiral at 40 mm center to center. And we are providing 6 bars of 20 mm diameter. So here we have completed our design of short column which is circular column. Thank you.